Hi, this is Alfouzia Nihar from At Home Tuition. Welcome to our session today. The topic that we are going to discuss in our today's video is sum of the cubes of first even natural numbers. In this video, let me introduce you to the standard result for the sum of the cubed terms. And based on this result, I will show you how to tackle problems. So let's discuss here how to find the sum of the cubes of first even natural numbers. Let us assume the required sum be s. Therefore, let us write the sum of the cubes. n natural numbers starts from 1. Am I right? 1 to n. So, let's just add the cubes. This is how the series will look like. Now, we will be using one identity to find the value of s. That identity is nothing but. Here is the identity. In this identity, we are going to substitute the natural numbers starting from 1. So, when you replace n by 1, we will get so you will get 1 raised to 4 minus 0 raised to 4 which is equal to 4 times 1 cube minus 6 times 1 square plus 4 times 1 minus 1. Am I right? In the same way, let us plug in the other numbers. I'm just going to plug in few numbers starting from 1 to 4 and then n. When n is equal to 2, so this would be, when you replace n by 3, we would get, same way when n is replaced by 4, we would get, let us get one more equation by replacing by n, the same equation. We are just taking an identity and plugging in the natural numbers starting from 1 to 4 till n. Now we are going to add. So adding we will get on the left side we would get n raised to 4 minus 0 raised to 4. That will be left over. All the other terms will get cancelled out. Am I right? Same way on the right side, we would get, if you just take this number as common, you will have this summation. I'll write on the board. And taking negative 6 as a common factor, you will have squares within the parenthesis. Now taking 4 as a common factor, we will be left over with n terms. I mean 1, 2, n. And the last term is going to be added for n times. Am I right? Hope you are clear till this step. We are just taking an identity, plugging in the n values and adding the left side and right side. So on the left side, if you simplify 0 raised to 4, 0 raised to any number is just 0. So on the left side, we would just get n raised to 4. Now let's focus on the right side. This expression is nothing but yes. Am I right? In the starting of this video, we assumed s is equal to 1 cube plus 2 cube till n cube. So 4 times yes minus 6. In the next parenthesis, we have sum of the squares. So here we can just use the formula that we will be using for the sum of the squares of n natural numbers. We can discuss this in a separate video, sum of the squares of n natural numbers in an another video. I'm just going to use the formula that we will be generally using. This is the formula we use for the sum of the squares of n natural numbers. Please make a note. In case if you have any query in this step, please let me know in the comment section. Now, on the same way, we will be using the formula that is used for sum of the n natural numbers. We have already created a video on this topic. You can also refer our previous video if you want to know the proof of this formula. So, sum of the n natural numbers is going to be Hope you are clear till this step. We are just using the formula for sum of the squares of n natural numbers, sum of the n natural numbers here. Okay, now let us simplify it further. 6 and 6 gets cancelled out. 2 goes 2 times here. And if you just distribute 2 here and simplify, we will get by applying FOIL method here, multiply n with each of the term in the second parenthesis and multiply 1 with each of the term in the second parenthesis. By doing so, we will get and distributing in this step 2n times n plus 1. That would be 2n square plus 2n. We have a negative sign outside. So if you, okay, we have a plus sign outside and after that we can shift 4 is to the left side and n4 to the right side. So there will be a change in sign. Now grouping all the n terms to left side of the equation or just swapping the sides, we will get all we need to do is distribute this n and then combine all the like terms. We will be just having one n raised to 4 term and we will have only one n cube term and then combine all the n square term. We will get, 
Hope you are clear till this step. Let us now take a common factor outside. For all the three terms, we have n square as a common factor. Am I right? So let's take n square outside and write all the leftovers within a parenthesis. So we will get and we can also rewrite this a plus b the whole square format. So in the place of a we have n and in the place of b we have 1. So this can be written as n plus 1 the whole square. Am I right? Now dividing the entire throughout by 4 we will get this can also be written as you can just write the square for the entire fraction. So we can rewrite this as this is nothing but sum of the n natural numbers whole square. Am I right? So this would be this would uh, make you easily remember this formula. Therefore sum of the cubes of first n natural numbers is nothing but n times n plus 1 over 2 whole square. Please go through all the steps for this proof and let me know if there is any query. Only one thing you have to remember here is the identity that we are using in the starting of the proof. And rest of the things are very simple. All you have to do is just replace n by the natural numbers one by one, add the left sides and add the right sides and combine all the like terms and isolate s on the left side of the equation. And finally we are just rewriting it. So concept is very simple though it may look very a uh, lengthier process. Okay, now let us apply this formula in the problems. I'm going to show you few example problems. Here is the first example question. Find the sum of the cubes of first 12 natural numbers. We can easily list out the 12 natural numbers, find its cube and sum but it will take so much time. So in order to avoid that, we can directly use the formula. So what is the formula which is derived using the proof? Okay, let me write it on the board. They are asking us to find the 12 natural numbers. So n would be 12 here. Just replace n by 12 and simplify. 12 times 12 plus 1 is 13. So 12 divided by 2 would be 6, 6 times 13 would be 78, 78 the whole square would be 6084. Hope you are clear with this example. Ok, let me try one more similar example. Here is the next example. Find the sum of the cubes of first 25 natural numbers. Sum of the cubes of first 25 natural numbers that is 1 cube plus 2 cube, 3 cube till 25 cube. So we know that sum of the cubes of first n natural number formula is n times n plus 1 over 2 whole square. Here what is n here? They are asking us to find the 25 sum of the cubes of first 25 natural number. So n would be 25 here. Replace n by 25 in this formula. 25 times 26. You can just cancel out this 2. 26 divided by 2 would be 13. So 25 times 13 whole square. 25 times 13 would be 325. 325 the whole square would be. That's it for this problem. Using the formula, finding the sum of the cubes of first en natural numbers would be really really easy. All you have to do is just compare these types of formula so that you can easily remember by relating each of the formula. Okay, in case if you have any query regarding this video, kindly let me know. Or in case if you want any other topic, you can let me know in the comment section so I can make a video on that topic. See you in the next.